The heart is made up of four chambers. Two filling chambers, known by the medical terms right and left atria, and two pumping chambers, known as the right and left ventricles. You may notice that the right side of the heart is on the left side of this video, and the left side of the heart is on the right side of this video. That's because when we talk about parts of the heart, we always use the patient's perspective and associate the parts of the heart with their right and left side. Sometimes people are born with what is called a univentricular heart. Don't be scared by the word univentricular. It just means that instead of having two fully functional ventricles, they have one ventricle that does all the work pumping blood to the brain and body. A second smaller ventricle is often present but plays a lesser role in pumping blood. A hole between the right and left atria causes red oxygenated blood and blue non-oxygenated blood to mix together before flowing into the ventricle and then the body. Mixing of red and blue blood leads to bluish discoloration of the skin, nails, and tongue. This is called cyanosis, and it's where the term blue babies comes from. These babies have an abundance of blue blood and a lack of oxygen-rich red blood. To repair this, surgeons perform what is called a Fontan procedure. It is named after Dr. Francis Fontan, a French surgeon who performed the first Fontan procedure in 1971. During Fontan surgery, the surgeon first closes gaps between the atria, separating oxygenated blood and non-oxygenated blood. After this step, kids aren't so blue because there is no mixing of blood and all of the blue blood is directed to the lungs and not the body. Second, the surgeon closes off the valve between the right atrium and the large ventricle. Next, because blood is not free to go to the ventricle, the surgeon creates a direct connection between the right atrium and the pulmonary artery. The pressure in the right atrium is the only power source to move blood through to the lungs. There is no ventricle to pump blood through the lungs. After this surgery is completed, the patient now has what is called a Fontan heart. There are many modifications of this surgical technique. If you have a Fontan heart and want to know more details about your specific surgery, talk to your doctor.